Hello to everybody. Today I'm talking about Saturn-Pluto conjunction in Capricorn in human history. The last time when this conjunction has been happened, it was in January 1518, two months after Martin Luther nailed his 95 Theses to the church door in Wittenberg and began the Protestant Revolution. This time, the big change can be happened in the big business. Why? Because lately, we can observe with open eyes that multinational companies gradually become the biggest political force in the world more powerful than nations and governance. But let's see why I think it's like this. Let's see the first, the nature of Pluto. Pluto means death, power, sex, taboos of all kinds. And this power is not under our control. We can see it feel it and uh, especially to feel the demands pluto doesn't care if the effects are comfortable for humans it's a necessity it's a very uh, uh, it's a reality and push us all of us to change to transform for a deeper transformation. It's a process that can take years. Uh, and the, as you can see, Pluto stay a long time in a sign. This, uh, the influence of Pluto occur on a collective, on the masses, or also on the personal level. What about Saturn? Saturn is the great teacher. We feel its influence as a difficulty because, especially when we are young, because it's a planet of age, he asks for patience, discipline, practicality, efficiency, responsibility, and the necessity to find your place in the world. It's not easy to deal with Saturn also, especially we, when we are young. When we get older, we are often uh, feel that this Saturn, maybe it's our friend, a planet of abundance, but from uh, abundance due to our merits. We did something for these results. So Saturn make things happen in the reality, in practice. Pluto, in the other way, is an outer planet. You don't see it with the naked eyes. So it's under conscience. It's from another world. That's why it's hard to understand, to understand its message and to process it, integrate it in our nature. Saturn, we can see with open eyes, but we accept it, this influence. The mixture between Saturn and Pluto, it's about an alchemy between inner and outer influence planets. It's uh, coexisting between what we see and what you can see. For example, let's see another um, event. At the end of 1989, Saturn uh, have uh, had a co conjunction with Uranus and Neptune and the Berlin Wall came down. It was something that have been prepared for many years. But how many people realize this? In 2001, 
Saturn opposed Pluto and we had the terrorist attack on 9-11. Pluto asked for a new life, for a new way of thinking and acting. All of us have the choice to resist uh, the deeper truth that Pluto wants us to uh, understand. This conjunction doesn't mean that everything is bad. It's about moving from your comfort zone. For example, Saturn, Pluto and Capricorn can be an empowerment uh, for rigid structures and hierarchies. So uh, the leadership paradigm and how we are working together will be changing. But also, uh, in this case, it means that if uh, these structures will resist, will be a revolution against them. Think about Martin Luther, what he has done to the Catholic Church. It was a revolution. His action contained a very powerful seed. But also, we have to remember how much blood has been shed because of this uh, reason between the believers of Catholic and Protestant. Really, I will never understand why the people are killing each other for something like this. Really, everybody can believe in whatever they want, but this is not a reason to kill each other. Come on, it's very strange, don't you think? This is the power of manipulation of other people. That's why the people make the same mistakes, because they forgot to be in reality, and other people, the powerful ones, are able to manipulate the masses. So don't forget about this on 12th of January. Saturn perfects its conjunction at 22 degrees in Capricorn. So what this means? It means that will be a struggle and a fight, actually, between big business and multinationals and the people, the masses. Because, uh, of course, as you can see in the mainstream, uh, in the mainstream media, they are not talking about too much about how the people are starting to feel about these rigid structures and hierarchies. But most of the people don't give a shit about it. They only go to gain some money and it's like a prison. But depends of the personality of each person. Maybe some people like this. It's a kind of modern slavery, uh, some others are saying. On December 17, 2020, Saturn enters a, in Aquarius, officially ending its co-presence with Pluto. And we will have another similar conjunction on 2052. I'm really wondering what will happen uh, during this uh, period and the most uh, the impact of it will be on the uh, countries and the population. So can be uh, actually the sign of the next um, revolution technology with uh, AI and robots and whatever they will uh, um, come with, uh, a mixture between uh, men and machine, and uh, will be a big fight. Who will win? We will see. I don't want to say now who will win, because 
It depends how the people will react to all of this. But we have to think about something. When we want to change something, it's about a trend. It's like a tsunami, you know, and you choose to be on the wave or under the wave. How we can be over the wave and to make a big change in the society? Hmm? Think about it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.